It is one of the biggest weekends of the year in Cincinnati. Yes, we are talking about the Flying Pig Marathon. Thousands of runners and volunteers are here in the Queen City for the annual event. Earlier today, I caught up with the executive director of the marathon at the Expo. We are at the PNG Health and Fitness Expo and little known fact about 60,000 people will come through these doors, which is a huge accomplishment. I am joined now by Iris Simpson Bush, the executive director of the Flying Pig. This thing has grown so much in 19 years. Must make you proud. It does. It's very proud. You work hard to make it happen and then you feel this sense of pride and a little surprise when it does. So what are people finding here at the Expo? Well, at the Expo, they come to pick up their packets, the registration mm -hmm. packets for the events. Then when they come through, there's the great merchandise area. They've got all sorts of technical gear, great shoes, the best in running to choose from. And then as they go through, they get freebies from P&G. P&G makes all of this possible. There are demonstrations, there are booths where they can uh, talk to the various charities involved. So there's really a lot to see and really uh, Real sense of excitement and camaraderie, I think. Excitement and camaraderie for the weekend because that's the time for all of the events. This goes on through tomorrow, but we're talking about the race. What can people expect from the course? Well, the course is essentially the same as okay. in years past, and I think that's important to our return runners. Um, and it's a good course. And what can spectators, or as you said, squealers, yeah, expect good. this weekend? Well, the squealers um, have zones, party zones, that uh -huh. have been designated specifically for them. If you go to flyingpigmarathon.com, look up the spectator zones, you'll find where to go, good instructions on how to get there so you avoid any traffic closures. And there will be food and beverages. I think we have noisemakers and just a lot so that we can fuel you and you can show your enthusiasm and support of the participants. Final question, what makes this race so special? You know, I think one of the things that makes it special is the community acceptance and the community involvement. Um, we're told from people all over the country that when they come to Cincinnati, they're pleasantly surprised. It's just a very welcoming atmosphere. We're told that spectators or squealers come out. On a good day, we have between 100 and 150,000 people out there cheering the runners on. That's the kind of support that they need to, to accomplish personal goals, and it's something that we're very grateful for. Well, Iris, thank you for your You're time. Welcome. And if you have any questions about the